you know, every time I say something nice about one of the candidates, and I've been saying things about, nice about Ron Paul today, I start getting all these tweets and emails that I have. I'm you did say some nice things to the Daily Caller about Ron Paul. Oh, yeah. What's if the we, best if, thing if about we, Ron If Paul? we don't listen to Ron Paul's, it, it, there's several things, Aaron. The unaccountable, out of control Federal Reserve is going to destroy our monetary system. The whole concept of individual liberty and limited government, I mean, that needs to be not only the core of the Republican Party, but American people need to realize that that's what makes us great. Not, not this central government collectivism that we've mm -hmm. moved towards now. So if Republicans don't listen to Ron Paul, um, we're going to have a divided party because the other half of the country that wants more from government is united and they're going to elect people who are going to promise more from government. You think there's any way you could uh, eventually have a ticket that had Ron Paul on it, even if Romney was at the top of it? We, we could. I don't, I don't know how that's going to end up, and I'm not endorsing anyone, so despite what the articles say, uh, I'd feel good about any of them being elected. They all have their uh, good and bad points, uh, but um, they would all be a lot better than what we've got in Before the White Before we House go, did right you now. know Mitt Romney was a Mexican? <laughs> I don't know. Do you get? <laughs> yes, I don't want to get into I'm that. No, okay. Just, just, all right. Does, 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 you mean is this a birth certificate question? No, no, it's not. I, I, we are going to be talking about it. In a moment. It's actually a really neat story. You're going to have to stick around and hear it. Uh, okay. Uh, but thank you very much for coming on. We appreciate well, Aaron, it. Aaron, thank you. I enjoyed right. it.